everybody. It's Andre from the Eaglesoft Field Guide. Just wanted to come to you with a quick video on uh, setting up your schedule so that you have a uh, protected health information friendly view. And uh, I'm saying it that way because I want I don't want to get too deep into the, the topic of HIPAA, but I uh, just wanted to show you how a lot of offices are using uh, the uh, Control H um, command to get rid of names off the schedule, which to me is a little behind the time because what happens is most people are hitting that control H when patients are already staring at the schedule and already taking in personal information. So what I like to do is I like to set up a, um, a HIPAA friendly view of the schedule. Um, and what that does is I'm going to go to a day where I have patient schedule. So here's what a typical admin view of the schedule would look like with names and telephone numbers and notes about the appointments and that kind of stuff showing up on the schedule. And what most people do is they do control H to get rid of that information off of the schedule. The problem with that is it's kind of too late uh, at that point. So what I like to do is I actually like to set up a clinical view. So this is my admin view of the schedule. And then what I'm going to do is switch into a clinical view, which is a view that I could leave up in the operatory and it is doing my best to protect protected health information. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to my views button. See, there's a views button at the top, or if you right click, there is an on schedule views. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit save as, and I'm gonna call, instead of my full view, I'm gonna call this my clinical view, okay? I'm gonna hit okay. And now if you can see at the very top of the screen, it says clinical view. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this clinical view and I'm gonna modify what we see now into a clinical view. So right click, current settings and setup. Here's my setup and these are all the things you says appointment display layout. This is this is all the information that's been showing on my schedule. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of my last names. All right. And I'm going to get rid of my home phone numbers. And I'm going to get rid of my cell phone numbers. All right. So now my entire layout is just going to be first name, a preferred name, and then their appointment notes. All right. That's all I want to show. I'm going to hit OK. And now you can see now I have a uh, HIPAA friendly, and I'm putting that in quotes, HIPAA friendly view of the schedule without having to do the control H. And this way I can leave this view up without having to worry about hiding patients names. All right, this is a fairly friendly view of the schedule, but I always have the option to do the control H if there's information on here that doesn't necessarily need to be up here. All right, so all I did was up in views, I have a full view and now I have a clinical view. So I can quickly switch back at the front office. I can use my full view. And then the operatories, I can use my clinical view. All right. The nice thing about this is the clinical view, the operatories have their own view of the schedule. While at the front, I can have all of the information here. I can switch in my uh, from my provider view to my uh, procedure view. And it has no impact on what they see in the operatories. But in the back, they can leave this view up while they're scheduling without having to uh, divulge protected information. All right. But the, all they need to do is just rest their mouse. And now I can have all that full patient information show up as needed. But when I'm not looking for somebody's specific information, I have a protected view. So that's all you need. Right click on schedule views. And now I have a choice between my full view of the schedule, right click on schedule views and my clinical view. And that's it. Hope that helps. There is a full blog page for this information. I'll have it linked in the show notes. And if you have any questions, please put them in the comments and we'll talk about it. Thanks. Bye-bye.